going on everybody welcome back to the channel and welcome to the second unboxing video on the channel yes uh last time i uh, did an unboxing on the make toys downbeat and this time i'll be doing a unboxing on the x transbots master x series defense strategist aegis so yeah let's jump right in so on the front of the box you got an awesome picture of aegis or aka trailbreaker uh, this is X Transbot's take on a Masterpiece Trailbreaker, so yeah, just in case you're wondering. On the side of the box, you got his bio and cursive, but uh, I don't want to read that, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and then down here you got, you know, his name and uh, 84MXV1111-T, whatever. Another picture here, and then here you got a very G1 looking uh, text bio stuff, so if you want to go ahead and read all of that, go ahead and pause the video. Okay, and then you got some nice artwork there. That looks awesome. Then down here, you just got barcodes and stuff and uh, things. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, let's crack this open. Okay, so this one I actually got brand new, so that's nice. Let's see if I can get this open here without damaging the box because, yes, I do save boxes. Save the boxes, people. <laughs> I'm telling you, you'll regret it if you don't. So, yeah. All right, there we go. All right, come on now. Come on, this is not gonna come out. There we go. All right. Oh, sweet. Oh yes. <laughs> Look at that. Throw that down. <laughs> okay, so some accessories. We'll get into that later on in the unboxing. Uh, instructions and trading card. Nice. And here, ladies and gentlemen, is Aegis himself. Wow, they packaged this well. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and crack this open. Oh man, some are good. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is awesome. There we go. Oh my, he's got some. Wow, he's got some weight. Dang. All right, let's get all this stuff out of the way. There we go. Wow, <laughs> this is fantastic. Now a little disclaimer. This is the cartoon version, or Toonver, as it's pronounced on the uh, uh, page, I guess. Uh, that, this, that's, that's the name uh, it was when I bought it, just so you know. Um, so, it's got a different paint scheme. Uh, on camera, it almost looks like a purplish, but in person, it's almost like a very light gray. That's the best way I can uh, describe it, and it looks beautiful. I love it. So, let's take a look at the detail here. You got turbo four-wheel drive. That is awesome. Front there, you got turbo again. This is a awesome figure. Oh, yeah, and the tires are rubber, so that is nice. Very nice. Seriously, he's got weight. Like, it's it's heavy. <laughs> so, yeah. Rear of your mirrors look nice. I love that. That looks nice. Very, very well done, at least in truck mode. Now, the transformation is killer, so <laughs> uh, I'm not going to do that in the video. I will transform it, however, but you're, I'm not going to do it step by step. Uh, so, yeah. And speaking of which, for those of you who have watched my downbeat unboxing, uh, I didn't do the transformation. Uh, I'm going to kind of change the way I do unboxings from now on. Um, so, yeah. So, for those who, uh, for those, so for those of you who are wondering what downbeat looks in his robot mode, here he is real quick. So this is the one I did in the last unboxing video. So there you go. So yeah, nice. Okay, so uh, let's let's get on to the accessories. We'll come back to the figure here in a minute. So he has got a crap ton of accessories. Good night. <laughs> uh, yeah, wow. They're in uh, kind of a very soft plastic bag there. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna pause the video and come back when I have this all uh, done and stuff. Okay, so I got all the accessories done. Uh, we're just going to do uh, one by one, and I'll tell you what they are. Uh, so first is alternate face one. Just kind of a uh, standard uh, face there. Nothing much to it. Yep. Kind of boring, but uh, yeah, you know. It's an uh, option, so yep. Uh, and then you got another one. You got a screaming face. That's nice. I like that. Uh, and then you have a smiling face. So, yeah, that looks nice. And then, for the last of the faces, you got a G1 toy accurate head. Uh, so, yeah. 
That looks wonderful. That that is just awesome. These these are like little buttons here. I imagine they do something, but I don't know what. So yeah. Okay, so uh, you also get a satellite dish, uh, which can store in the vehicle mode. Um, you got this tab up here, and all you have to do is plug this in, and there you go. You got a satellite dish, and it does rotate around, just like that. Uh, these do pop out, but they go back around. They're just little pegs, so they pop right back on. So yeah, that's nice. Uh, let's see. There you go. Nice. Okay, uh, and then you got a weapon, little gun here. I, I don't know. I don't even know what his weapons are. <laughs> I'm just gonna say guns. Uh, so yeah, and you got another one. So yeah, and you got another one. <laughs> this one's got like a like triple head gun there. That's really cool. I like that. Uh, and then you got two attachment pieces here uh, for the guns. So yeah, there you go. And then you got a force field effect. Uh, now, if you look on the bottom of the truck here, he's got his force field gun and another gun there. So, uh, yeah, so I believe the uh, force field effect is supposed to go on this in robot mode. So we'll get to that when we get to it. Okay. And then you also get a log. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I don't know the purpose of this thing. I don't even know why it's included, but I guess it's that uh, thing from that episode thing. Uh, that these masterpiece toys do where they give you like a prop that he used one time in the episode and never used it again I've not seen the episode where this is in but um uh, They included it for a reason. I just don't know that reason. <laughs> so yeah, all right uh, You also get a stump with a uh, teapot a teapot and little cups and they do peg in uh, To the log and you can just take them out if you want so yeah and uh, this looks like a stone, so yeah, a bunch of camping stuff there. Um, they did not have to include that, but you know, it's an option, and options are good, so yeah. Uh, so those are all of his uh, accessories that are not, uh, at least that are not attached to the figure. Uh, the last thing is the instruction manual and the uh, collector's card, and I'll just go ahead and get that out. Just like that. Come on. Ah. Go. Okay, so, oh, nice. So here's the collector's card here. Uh, I might keep that protective wrapping on it. That That's very nice. Even though I have a binder to store all these, I'm just going to keep it in there. Uh, so, yeah, you just got the X-Transbots Master uh, X series and then ages and stuff. Uh, and then you got his bio again and then um, that quote and uh, his tech specs. So, nice. I love these collector cards that uh, come with the masterpieces. In fact, I wish that the Mech to Toys Downbeat did. That's something I'm disappointed about <laughs> when they make toys downbeat. Uh, it did not include a collector's card, so that, that, that's annoying. But, uh, yeah, so, nice. So, you do get a collector's card. That's cool. Uh, and then you get an instruction booklet. Uh, I said manual. Okay, cool. Nice. Uh, they give you a little tool. I forgot this was included. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I, I remember uh, the, the transformation is um, beast. <laughs> not in a good way. Uh, it, it's going to be hard to do. Uh, so, this may come in handy. Nice. I'm glad I got this now. <laughs> cool. All right. So yeah, you just got an instruction booklet. Uh, I mean, it looks pretty clear. I mean, I imagine it won't be too hard to look off of now. I could be totally wrong on that. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, that's all of his accessories. I uh, think that is it for his truck mode. Oh, boy. <laughs> be glad that I am not going to be doing his transformation on camera for you guys. You are welcome. <laughs> oh, good lord. This is going to take me uh, a very long time, so you just sit back and relax while I go and do it. Holy cow. <laughs> this transformation was not fun at all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> This transformation is definitely not fun. It is very challenging, very hard. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm transforming this again anytime soon. So, here is the final product once you uh, transform this guy. And he looks really, really, really good. The end product is wonderful. It is perfect figure. Perfect uh, Trailbreaker masterpiece third party thing whatever in my opinion uh so yeah i'm just gonna fold that piece in there so yeah nice 
All right, so I had to extend the camera a little bit uh, because we're going to be focusing on the top of the figure the, most of the time. So let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, so the reason why is because of the accessories and, you know, just to look at the design. His legs don't really matter much, but it still looks cool. Yeah, his legs are very cool. And that was the hardest part of the transformation, by the way, was his freaking legs. That was hard. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, the design looks wonderful. It looks very cartoon accurate to the Generation 1 Trailbreaker. And he is very big. <laughs> He's tall. I did not expect him to be this tall. He's almost the size of MP10, uh, which I'll do a size comparison here in a little bit. So, yeah. Uh, so, accessories. Um, for his robot mode, almost all of them are for his robot or Sorry, are for his robot mode. Uh, I'll go ahead and get the ones out. Hang on a second. Yep. All of uh, his weapons and stuff. So, yeah, uh, one of them that I want to test out is the force field effect. So, yeah. Uh, this goes right on the force field gun. So, let's take a look at that. Hang on one second. Let me zoom in. So, you guys can see this. See what I mean? This is why I don't do masterpiece reviews. Uh, I, I was about to uh, do a full review on this guy. So, yeah. That doesn't, even, that doesn't really even make sense. I was about to do a full review on this guy, even with the unboxing video attached to it. But, uh, yeah, that's probably best I shouldn't. So, yeah. His accessories just plug on. Or the, at least this part uh, just plugs on to the force field cannon right there. There we go. Oh, that did not like this. That does not want to stay on, does it? Let's see here. There's probably a better way to do this, but that is what it's supposed to look like. Okay, yeah, it just flops down. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure there's a way to secure that, but honestly, doesn't really care. I'm not going to have it like that on the shelf, I don't think. But, yeah, you get the point. So, yeah, nice. Uh, the next thing is his cannons. You got a uh, heck ton of options for his cannons. Uh, now, the way to install this is you take his arm. or It doesn't matter which arm. I'm just going to do this one. And you need to uh, uh, fold this tab under. Or, and, um, that way. <laughs> I cannot talk today. And just fold his hand in. And then just close that out. I don't know how this thumb's supposed to go in, but uh, actually, that is gonna be very annoying. Hang on one second. We gotta get that. We gotta get that fixed here. There we go. Just like that. Okay. Uh, close enough. I'll fix it later. But uh, yeah. Okay. You know what? That's. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is gonna be very irritating. So, good night. This figure. It's awesome, but I wish the. Qual or not the quality, but the uh, transformation and stuff were a little bit better. There, whatever. I, I give up. <laughs> I'll fix it later. Uh, so, yeah. You need to have this, and then you need to take an attaching or attacher piece. Doesn't matter which, I don't think, anyways. And it plugs on right there. Let's see here. That does not feel like tabbing in. Alright, you know, I'm going to come back to uh, fix all this crap. Okay, so, sorry about that, but, uh, yeah, uh, I just folded in the arm, uh, wrong, so, got it done, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, you got two options of cannons, you got this one here, and this one here, I'm gonna go with this one, because it is my favorite, <laughs> so, yeah, what you do here is, it's just gonna plug on to that little tap here, sorry, my lights are a little bit bright here, so, I, I, I don't know if you guys can see that very well, there you go, kind of like that. Uh, and then I believe it just tabs on to either of the guns, just like that. Yep, there you go. And that looks awesome. <laughs> that is awesome there. I love that. I love it. <laughs> it's so cool. Uh, and then obviously you can... Okay, you don't screw it. <laughs> just take the whole thing off. Uh, just take another attachment piece and another ca and a cannon. You get two of these cannons. Um, uh, one's a replacement, I guess, uh, but yeah. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this has got a different attachment here. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know how to do that yet, so let me look at the instructions real quick, and I'll show you how to do it. Alright, so according to the instructions, you need to flip this panel out here, and take the arm, and it's on a mushroom peg, and you just slide it off like that, and you take a cannon, and slide it on like that that's not super secure but i'll fix it later and then you got the uh the traditional trail breaker uh gun going on there so yeah that's cool too um uh, not my favorite honestly <laughs> it just kind of looks tiny it just looks real tiny to me so yeah there you have his cannons 
All right, so now I think we can move on to size comparison. Okay, so here he is with MP10 or uh, Masterpiece 10 Optimus Prime. So yeah, he's basically the height of Optimus Prime there. So that's that's good. All right, cool. All right, here he is next to Make Poise Downbeat. So yeah, he basically tower overs uh, Downbeat there. So <laughs> yeah. He's, he's tall. He's very tall. Nice. And the very last thing is the alternate faces. Uh, that is going to be a challenge for me. So uh, I'm just going to pause the video and just, you know, swap them out. Because it looks like you have to uh, do some screws and stuff. Um, so, yeah, cool. So uh, let's just go ahead and do the first face. And that is the face he's been... Uh, uh, that is uh, on the figure currently. So there's that. And here you have his smiling face. Kind of creepy. <laughs> and here he is with his uh, screaming face. And last but not least, here he is with his G1 toy accurate head. Now that looks really cool. I love that they included that. And that's about it for the second unboxing video. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Uh, if you consider liking and subscribing, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, if you can also share the channel with somebody you may know who likes Transformers, GoBots, or anything like that, please do. We're trying to hit 100 subscribers by the end of the year. So yeah, nice. Uh, also, uh, keep in mind, on Monday, I have another X-Transbots uh, figure. I'll keep it a surprise, but um, I do have another Xbox or <laughs> X-Transbots uh, uh, masterpiece figure coming in on Monday. Uh, so uh, when that happens, I'll be doing a review on it. So stay tuned for that. Nice. All right. See you in the next video. Goodbye.